there are so many wine glasses out there, brands, styles, stem, stemless, varietal specific. How do you choose the right one? One thing that all good wine glasses will have in common is a wide bowl that narrows at the rim. This tapering at the top allows aromas to concentrate inside the glass, making them easier to decipher. While it's not technically necessary to have a different wine glass for each wine type, it may be beneficial to invest in glasses specific to red, white, and sparkling wines. A red wine glass typically larger than either a white or a sparkling glass. And this is because often the aromas and flavors are so concentrated in red wines that having that extra surface area for the wine to become in contact with oxygen can help release some of those layers. It also makes it easier to swirl, which also helps release additional aromas. White wine glasses are slightly smaller, as white wines don't typically need as much aeration. Sparkling wine glasses should be served in what's called a flute. It's a tall, skinny glass that tapers at the top, and this is to help preserve the bubbles. Regardless of what you're using for a wine glass, you should be sure that your glasses are clean before use. It may sound silly, but even soap residue can spoil a wine's aromas and flavors. If you haven't used your wine glass in a while, dust can gather, which can also spoil a wine. Fingerprints, besides being visually off-putting, can also make the wine look hazy, which could be mistaken for a fault. So be a good host, make sure that your wine glasses are always clean before use, and give them one more polish before setting the table. Your guests and your wines will thank you.